Hello to everyone. Today we're going to talk about DI boxes. Uh, what is a DI box? Uh, how much should I spend? Do I need one? Um, we're going to open up three DI boxes so you can see the difference between a really good one, a good one, and a cheap one. Uh, so stay with me. And this video is about seven, eight minutes long, long, uh, but it will be very informative. So thank you so much. This is John from John Soto Music. We are a music store. If you need anything, please call us, email us, or just go to our store and buy it. We will ship it right away. What is a DI? It is just a simple device that will let you uh, transform a high impedance signal into a low. For example, your guitar or bass or keyboard has a high impedance signal and you need to transform that to a low impedance, which is a balanced signal, uh, to take that signal to your mixer. Do you need one? Depends. For example, if you play live in church or in concerts and things like that, the mixing console, it is usually probably 50, 100 or 150 feet away from you. You will need a DI box. Why? Remember that instrument cables are unbalanced signals and they can only travel so far without getting noise into the signal. Balanced signals, on the other hand, they can travel long ways without noise. So that's why if you play live, you need a DI box. So how much money should you spend on a DI box? It really depends on the quality of the instrument you have. If you have a <clears throat> thousand dollar instrument buy a good di box if you have a two thousand dollar instrument buy an even better di box i would advise you to save money and buy a great di, bo DI box why because it will give you the same sound that your instrument is putting out it will not add any color second it would last for many years to come so you don't have to keep buying di boxes and di boxes if you buy a great one it will last you for the rest of your life without you buying any other DI box. So my advice it is buy a good DI box for your instrument. Please do not play a $4,500 keyboard through a $20 DI box that you can get in Amazon. Please don't do that. Do not. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to open this up and check the inside. Let's start with the radio. Just look at this DI. Um, it looks great. The magic inside of this DI is the uh, Transformers, Jensen Transformer. I think each Transformer of this is like 60, 70 bucks. So when I look at the construction of this DI, it looks like a small computer. It is solid. Look at those connections. These connections right here, they're like amazing, well done. Uh, uh, this particular is a stereo DI, so if it would be a single one, single DI box, this is what would, you would see. But this is a stereo DI. All right. So now let's look at the DBX DI box. It is a more simple setup, but it still looks decent. Even the connections and everything, it looks it looks decent, you know. Uh, we don't know what kind of transformer is this. Uh, it has model number uh, 260073, but uh, I think it's gonna be a little bit more hard to find this transformer. Anyways, now this is the live wire solutions. Look at this DI. It is more. It is simpler. It is. Uh, it looks cheaper uh, the transformer we don't know what that is uh, what kind of transformer it has been held there for by a rubber band and the connections you can see that you can see your cables once you connect you can see it is open uh, but when you connect the same cable to a for example this radio you don't see that cable anywhere so that's why that's why there's difference in prices okay guys i'm going to show you what a good di can do for your sound system um, right now we have a very simple setup here i'm going to show you 
turn the camera to the setup we have here. We have a bass guitar, okay, and then there's this cable, a DI out is going to the PA system. Um, very simple, but with this setup, this building has really bad electricity. Um, and with this setup, we're getting this noise. That ground loop sound, it is just horrible. And you cannot have that in a sound system. It is just so distracting. Uh, it is horrible, horrible. And so a DI can solve the problem when you, uh, instead of going directly from the amp output to the PA system, uh, you, instead of that, you just go to a DI box and it could resolve your problem, giving you a better sound. Uh, right now, I'm gonna change the setup. I'm gonna use this DI box to resolve the problem. Let me make some connections. Let me mute the system. Okay, now from the bass guitar, I'm gonna come to the input of this one. This is go comes from the bass guitar to this input, okay? And then I'm gonna use another instrument cable, like this. From here, we're gonna go to the bypass. And the other end of this cable is going through the for the sound system all right okay right now we uh what we're gonna do we're gonna unplug this and this end is going to the di input you don't need to see the input is as any regular di all right so now instead of going directly to the amp we're going to, we're using the di box uh to help us eliminate that horrible noise so let's check it out uh I'm going to unmute, unmute this channel, unmute the bass guitar, and you can see that the, the, the noise is it just gone. So that's what a good DI box can do for you. Uh, it will clean your signal and you will be happier. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to our channel. Share this video with your fellow musicians, friends at church or in your band. And we, and then also subscribe to our blog. We send out uh, articles like this uh, in writing video to you. So uh, thank you so much. Have a good one. If you need anything, please go to our website, johnsonmusic.com. Sort of